We'll end up just driving you right over this ditch, okay? That's what I was gonna do originally. Yeah. Let's take a look at it right here before we move in. Oh, it's walking right there. I just want to take a look at it. Still sounds really dry. What do you got, like eight on? Yeah. Eight, eight and a half, something like that. Yeah, that's that's about a four. I give it about twenty. And we'll look at it. Okay. Still too stiff. Yeah. You can hear it in there. Yeah. Uh, we only reduced, like I said, a half an ounce. So, so you call it? You call it? Uh, you put in the ounces per hundred weight. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of guys. A lot of guys ask me online. When I talk about it, they're like, well, how much do you put in? And I'm like, well, between 15 and 30 ounces per yard. Right. Yeah. It, you can call it either way. Okay. It's, it's just... Uh, so that would be like 120 ounces per yard? No. Nope. If that's 4,000 pounds? If it's 4,000. A, a yard is, is about 4,000, right? Nope. So you go by the cement bag. Oh, I'm okay. So I was so, thinking the whole way. So, so on a 520 mix, yeah, 15 ounces roughly. 5.2 times three ounces. Okay, is 15 and a half ounces. That's good to know. Per okay. per per yard. Per yard, yeah. So you can call it either way. You call it three ounces per hundred weight. Yeah. Or 15 and a half ounces per yard. Per, yeah. Point six. That's what I was. It's the okay. same. It's just saying it a different different way. way yeah. It's the same thing. Don't look like it changed. It don't look like it changed. Run a little in the chute. Oh, yeah, hold up. Hold up. It looks looks drier than it did the first time I looked at it. You can hear them coming down the road. Yeah. Let's just look at it. Probably still a little too dry for us. I'd call it six, but it might be a little bit drier than. Yeah. What we want. Most of them show up like that, really, like yeah. dirt dry. I'd rather have them show up dry than wet. Yeah. Closer, but that's nowhere near what we need. Ten more. I put it at least. Yeah, give it twelve. Keep going a little bit. That's still too dry for us. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna back you up, get you in place, and probably give it another one, okay? That right there, I would call about a seven, seven and a half. And I know that's not what you guys are used to looking yeah. at, you know. I'm gonna straighten it out and just set you over. See that? I would call a seven. I, that's just me, though. You yeah. know? Do you that's have something to test it? I do. You want me to just try it? Sure. Sure, I'll go. I don't mind. If you yeah. don't mind. You get it to where you okay. want it. Okay. And I'll swap it. Uh, we'll, yep. All right, let's try. Uh, I'd say at least another 12 more. 10 or yeah. 12, easily. Okay. Oof. It's going to be a scorcher today. Let's yeah. get about it. 80. Is it really? Yeah. Then tomorrow's a little bit cooler. I thought next week some of the days are like 68. Yeah. 69 degrees. It was pretty windy there yesterday after you left. It was... I don't know, I'm going to say 10 more. Come take 10 more. 22 of them. I think we can pull the wires here if you want to set the rebar in and stop magging. Go up and over one and then take him off and get him there. Just watch that string down, okay? I almost tripped on it. That Dave's underwear? What's that? That Dave's underwear? Yeah. 
hook that and shoot, I'll grab my sample. Yeah, I'll do it right now. Hold on. Yeah, a little bit easy right there. All right, we're gonna show you what a slump test looks like. We've got a uh, quality control guy here for the concrete company. He's just gonna check the slump. So I'm gonna put the camera on that so you can take a look at it. So for us, slump measures either how dry or how wet the concrete is, how easy it is to pull around, and Mark's going to measure that with his slump cone. So basically he'll pull that cone off, measure down from uh, the bar there to the concrete, and it, whatever number that is, that's the slump. Seven and four. Okay. Perfect. Great to shoot. Great to shoot. I don't know if you can go up and find a place up there to wash. Out on the road? Yeah, that way yeah. the next guy here, you he can just get right in here without yeah. any trouble. And I don't want you down there in my truck. It would be perfect. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Good job. Not a problem. Yeah, but we're going to get you right in where he is. Okay. Okay, he's pulling out right now, if you don't mind. You yeah. next? I am. Okay, yeah, we'll get you back right in. I left it pretty dry. I didn't know. Yeah, he was too. Okay. We'll, we'll get it. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, I mean, let me look at it, yeah. Sounds like a zero. Yeah, wind it up, give it a big drink. More than that, I'll tell you when. Yeah, it's probably gonna need more, but I'll probably, Pull the shoot over and take a look at it. Yeah, just run some out. Just run some out. Okay, yeah. Wind her up. Give it a little bit more. Getting okay. closer. Yep. Yeah, we'll take a look at it. Probably drop that shoot down a little bit. Go. Oh, slow it down. Yeah, go real easy if you can, yeah. Let me flip the shoot with. Yeah. Ready? Down a little bit. No, that's good for a minute. That box might come up a little bit too if it makes it easier. I don't know if they pinned it or not. All right, I'm gonna hold you up. I'm gonna back you up a little bit more. I'm gonna take this out.
and then probably give you another little drink when I get you backed up. Okay. I'll get it, yeah. I got you. So it just seemed like it took forever to get these first two trucks up to the slump we wanted. With that mid-range water reducer, we should be able to pour seven. But the trucks show up on the job and they're, it's basically as dry as dirt. So it just takes forever to get them mixed up the slump. And that just heats the concrete up too. You know, in the, in the middle of summer when it's 80 degrees out, 90 degrees out, you don't want them to have to mix any longer than they need to. So it's important they show up on the job, you know, about a four or so. And then you only need to give them a little bit of water to get up to your five or six or seven, whatever you're pouring. So this morning, these first two trucks we struggled with. The third truck was a little bit better, but the fourth truck was uh, about the same as the first two. So, you know, dealing with slump issues when you're pouring out in the hot sun is just, it's kind of a pain in the butt for us. So the closer these guys can get it to slump when we're ready for them, the much better it is for the guys pouring the concrete. Load it, Luke. Go, guys. As you can see here, when uh, we, you know we get our seven for a slump, the guy pulling the chute around can pretty much get the concrete about the level we need it at with one guy puddling behind him, and then everybody else can go do their other jobs. When it's not, then two or three people have to work the come-alongs in the concrete coming out of the chute just to get it to the to the right level. So it definitely makes it a lot easier and using the mid-range water reducer. I mean, we pay extra for it, so we can get it up to that seven really really fast then we, we could dump this slab out twice as fast Go, guys. We're gonna get you right up there where those guys are, okay? So over to the yeah. right a little bit. Yeah. Right. Let me get some shoots on. I mean, just, just pull it ahead a little bit, get this ass end over here, I'll bring you right up in the middle. Yeah. So after we got him mixed and we started dumping him, we could tell he was kind of hot. You know, he'd been loaded quite a while ago, probably been over an hour ago since he loaded. It was a 40 minute drive to the job. And by the time we got to dumping him, you know, his crete was hot. So we're going to get it dumped out, get most of this last section dumped right out. And you can see Darren jumped right on the, the, the battery power screed to start with, but we could tell it just it was getting too stiff too fast to use that. So we jumped right on the hand screed, the 14 footer, and just kick screeded this last bay just because we knew it was going to be faster doing it this way. And we could just put more down pressure on the screed, make sure we got it flat. So that's how we got this last truck screeded down, and you know, it. It went from probably starting out at a seven inch slump to when we finished right here, it was probably about a four in a matter of like 20 minutes. So it was hot, um, but we got her. And that's just the way it, ha that's just the way it goes sometimes when you pour concrete, you just never know from truck to truck, just how they're gonna go. I mean, it could be as ma the matter of just the guy spinning his drum a little bit faster than the other guys, but that's how we, that's how we got this slab done, guys. Again, thanks for watching, come on back. And we'll definitely see you on the next one. Make sure you click on this video right here to check this out.